Well, hello everyone, this is Elaine again, and today's reading is taken from 1 Corinthians verse 3. And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Christ. Have fed you with milk, and not with meat, for hither though you were not able to bear it, neither yet now are you able. For you are not carnal, for ye are yet carnal, for whereas there is among you envying and strife and divisions, are ye not carnal and walk as men? For while one saith, I am of Paul, and another, I am of Apollos, are you not carnal? Who then is Paul, and who is Apollos? But ministers by whom you believe, even as the Lord gave to every man, have planted Apollos water, but God gave the increase. So then neither is he that planted anything, neither he that watereth, but God that giveth the increase. Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one, and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. For we are laborers together with God, you are God's husbandry, and you are God's building. According to the grace of God, which is given unto me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation and another build it thereon. But let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon. For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now if any man build upon this foundation, gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. If any man's work abide which he hath built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy, for the temple of God is holy, which temple are you, which temple you are. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in his word, let him become a fool, that he may be wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And again, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. Therefore, let no man glory in men, for all things are yours, whether Paul, or Apollos, or Cephas, or the word, or life, or death, or things present, or things to come, all are yours, and you are Christ, and Christ is God's.